Oilers postgame after a thrilling 5-4 shootout win for the Okotoks Oilers in their 2023 home opener. I'm Tyler King, joined by assistant coach Reed Natowich. And uh, Reed, they don't all have to be Picassos like last night was in Canmore, um, but your team dug deep when it was needed. And is it fair to say face some good adversity tonight that may pay off some weeks down the road? Yeah, like I think that game, you, you look at it, and obviously a big difference uh, than what we did um, yesterday is re with regards to results. Um, but I think like the, the cool part and the learning curve with tonight is just like the consistency of this league. Uh, the players are too good uh, in order to take kind of defensive zone shifts off. Uh, you know, the mistakes that we made, um, they capitalize on in the sense like that. So it's a good learning one that we did end up winning, um, but a lot of uh, little teaching points there. Some good performances again from your veterans. Brett Huxley gets that dramatic game-tying goal. Uh, two points for him tonight, so he's now got four in his first two games of the season. He and Sam Huck were all over the place all night. But you guys have also been kind of throwing new line mates in with them consistently. What have you thought of the way those top guys have, have been able to produce no matter who they're out there with? Well, you know, I think uh, those two are special players. You got Huck with dynamic skill, and I think, uh, you know, Huxley, if you watch his game, just with the way he reads the ice with regards to his positioning, the, the way that he thinks, the way that he can see um, plays, is just kind of a little dynamic uh, duo between the two, and they're obviously having success here early and, you know, looking to build off with it. And uh, I think, you know, with the way that we have the, the line structured right now, down a forward and adding that 7D, uh, those are two guys where, you know, you have um, cool support to kind of throw with them, different players throughout the lineup who can uh, participate in shifts with them and uh, contribute to things coolly. So, um, yeah, the, the forward group tonight, definitely positive. So they were a dynamic duo. You also had a very dynamic duel these first two games with Cade, uh, the rookie, getting a nice assist yesterday in the opener and then a great goal for him um, in this game here tonight. What have you thought of the way, you know, he seemingly slid right into this lineup too? You know, I think uh, you noticed it with him early in, um, in our main camp there. Like, he came in with, uh, you know, a lot of confidence and swagger as he progressed throughout the postseason. Um, I think he's a kid who's very much of a sponge. He's analyzing, he's watching. So you can see kind of things start to translate into his game. And, like, you know, it's little micro increments, but every game that he's playing, he's getting a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's a special player that time's, uh, time's going to tell with what he can do. You're going to have an interesting week next week, off to Olds on Tuesday, then a back-to-back -back against Black Falls, which will be a heck of a test. Um, don't have a lot of time to practice. That'll be a, a theme of this new schedule we've got this year. So what are you guys going to do with the limited time that you have? Like Olds, we need to just make sure that we come out tenacious and heavy. That will be our main focus. We have a uh, uh, rest day off uh, tomorrow, make sure we recover properly. Monday, uh, heavy with it with practice. We'll touch on them and what we've seen from them early this year. Uh, and then obviously Black Falls on the weekend. Watch a little bit with them against Drayton, uh, Drayton Valley tonight. Uh, a lot of high octane offense, a lot of odd man rushes. So eliminating them, eliminating their speed will be our uh, big points there. Thanks for this as always, Reed. Congrats on the 2-0 start. Thanks, King. Now with Oilers forward Brett Huxley, who's got four points in two games to start the year. Brett, you didn't get credit for either assist yesterday in Canmore, but tonight you got credit for everything you did, including that late game tying goal. I think that's the one everyone's going to remember. Take me a bit um, through that play to score to force overtime, and in particular how you guys kept your composure when nothing seemed to be going your way. You're finally able to bury on that chance. Yeah, like when we go down in the games, we, we try to stay positive on the bench. Um, uh, we got guys that are cheerleaders and really help push the pace. And on that last goal, uh, six on five, we always try to be heavy, uh, get lots of pucks to the net. And uh, O'Halloran had a nice shot. I found myself right there and right on my stick, just made a move to my left and had an open net and put it in. It's been an interesting start for you guys in the forward core in general. I mean, you and Sam Huck have, have been out there together. Reed Natowich referred to you as a dynamic duo out there. And then you have all these different line mates that you've been kind of gaining chemistry with. What's the first two games kind of been like for the two of you? A, finding chemistry with each other, but also learning how to play with lots of different other guys too. Yeah, like Huck's a guy where anyone can really find chemistry with him. He's such a dynamic player. Uh, he makes my, my life easier and everyone around him. So, yeah, he's a special player. And when you put guys... Out with him as well like they, they do well and he, he can just control the game and yeah he's a special player introduced uh, at the start of this game as one of the alternate captains for the team and of course you've been here for for quite a long time not to make you feel old or anything like that but it was all the way back in that that covid year that you came over from the from the north stars mid-season what does it mean to you to, to be sporting a letter for this team and also to have the opportunity that you're being given here in, in your last year of junior 
Yeah, it's an honor. Uh, I just try to be a role model for the younger guys. Uh, we got a lot of them coming in and new guys in the leagues, and they're they're doing great so far, buying into all the systems, and they're they're really going to be a, a big piece going forward. So, yeah, I just try to be a role model for them. And then, of course, you look back at these first two games. I mean, Friday night, almost a picture-perfect game for you guys. Tonight, I think you probably look back and say there are some things to, to tighten up on. As you go to Olds on Tuesday night, what are the big things as a group you guys are going to be saying, you know, hey, we did these things good. These are the things we have to keep improving on if we want to be the team we're capable of being. Yeah, I think going into Olds, we got to be tenacious on the four check, uh, get on their D-man hard right off the start, and then set each other up positively. Uh, sometimes there's guys the lines get mixed up and uh, if we if we really create that the line of chemistry and it just creates a better flow to the game and, and it generates success for us. Well, appreciate this as always Brett. Congrats on the hot start to the year. Thank you.